in St Pancras International and we're launching Eurostar's uh, new uniform. We've dressed the Kissing Couple statue in the new uniform which has been a, a bit of a mission for the last five nights and we're really pleased to unveil it today. It's, a sort of, it, it's a very much a St Pancras landmark uh, and um, as you can see from the, the interest it's, it's, uh, it's a great success. Eurostar approached me to dress the kissing statue. It was just something I thought, no, I actually have to be part of this. I think it could be amazing. And it's been a challenge. We had definite time slots through the night, so four nights. It's roughly 95 metres of fabric in all. I was very aware, as I was up close and personal with the statue, that I had to not so much impose the shape on the statue, but follow what was already there. Uh, we decided a couple of years ago that it was going to be the time to change. In terms of the cycle of the uniform, it's the old one is 10 years old. When we've been asking customers uh, you know, and our wearers what they want, uh, there was very much uh, a desire to have something that stood out a little bit more. I think the previous one, um, it was quite conservative, I think. It was, it was, it was quite plain and quite grey. And for our frontline teams, there was, there was a real desire to go back to the blue and yellow, and as you see, the, the original Eurostar colours. Uh, but also, from their point of view, to have something that was both practical, uh, hard-wearing, comfortable uh, and flexible. We've used bluey-grey tones because they're very flattering, they're very wearable, they're elegant. And I think the result with just, you know, the flashes of yellow in the pleats of the, of the coat and in the skirt and just on the touches on the collar and the edges of the scarf, they say a huge amount without having to be bold and brassy. They love the dress. They've never had a dress before. They feel feminine, smart. The new uniform will be something that can last, that's got a nice tailored look to it. Wearing a really well cut suit, a jacket, you automatically carry yourself differently. It implies a certain posture. It is a little bit more like an airline image, but after all Eurostar is traveling from country to country. It, it has that feel when you travel. We've been together for 10 years. We met working at Waterloo. We both worked in the terminal. There's a lot of excitement. This morning's been great because there's people from all over the business. We've had people from on board in the terminals and from the offices. Everyone's been sort of really getting involved. We've made a huge investment in, in, in new trains and the first of those new trains will be coming into service uh, later on this year. So we always decided that the, the new uniform would be uh, the first significant event of our 20th uh, year. To just walk through the station this morning and to see uh, see the smiling faces of the crew who've just been arriving off the first few trains, uh, it's an enormous success, and, and I think it's exceeded you know every expectation that we had by by some margin. 